Angels and Demons Battle for Souls of Dying Patient of the Pandemic, Sister Anne of Gabon, Peace People of God, I have come to share the revelation that the Lord gave me on the 27th of March 2020, on that day the pastor was sharing on the passage of Hebrew 5 verse 11 when the Lord showed me this revelation that is based on 2 Timothy 2 verse 7, while the pastor was talking the Lord opened my spiritual eyes and ears, and immediately I saw our enemy, the devil. He had human shape with Caucasian skin, his hair was very smooth, shining and short, his hair were really black, combed backwards as if he had plaited them, it was square like cup shape, the enemy had eyes very red because of anger, I saw that he was feeling stress and agitated, he was under pressure, and he was addressing the audience and shouting in anger and rage to his assistants, made up of demon, satanist and evil leaders, he told them you must change the strategy and win more souls as many as possible, I'm not ordering you to do the possible but to do the impossible, I don't wanna see any man or woman entering the kingdom of heaven, where I was kicked out and banished, every one of them must follow me in the lake of fire and sulfur, I say all of them must follow me, beware and make sure that none of them escape I net, if one of you fail to stop them from entering the kingdom of heaven I will make sure that you undergo a torture and torment that you will not bear, I am not like the just man, I have no compassion and I am cold, you know it very well and I don't need to remind you, the devil was full of rage and agitated, actually, the Lord made me see that often, the devil hear the voice of the God, addressing him directly and reminding him the imminence of his punishment and judgment in the lake of fire and brimstones, for eternity to eternity, as a result the enemy become agitated, full of rage and fury, I heard the voice of God that kept repeating in Lucifer ears and heart, O oh Lucifer, your time is finished, your judgment and punishment has come, for the Lord constantly remind the devil warning him Lucifer your time is over prepare yourself for your judgment in the lake of fire and brimstones for eternity to eternity, thus Lucifer was agitated full of rage and furor in this meeting, the devil told his demon, now go out to the world, I have invested you with all my power, go after these Christian where you could not go before, go to these Christian that spend their time engaging us in spiritual warfare prayer, I know the just man will protect them, oh how he aggravate me that one, but don't give up, stay in their proximity and monitor these Christian without ceasing, tempt them in order to cause them to sin against the just man, as soon as their master the just man move away from them because of sin, immediately you will capture them in the speed of light, when you have entered because of the doorway they have opened, you will then remove from their heart the love of their master, so that they will not repent, that way we will kill them without wasting a second, they will fall in the lake of fire and brimstone with us, but I warn you, whoever fail in this assignment will fall in my hand, I will make sure he is tormented beyond what he can bear, I want the world population in their totality to join me in the eternal lake of fire and brimstone, remember your current mission related to the woe that the just man has permitted on the land, use this pandemic in order to bring more souls to hell, then a huge demon having the face of a gorilla interrupted Lucifer in order to ask a question, I saw that this demon had hair here and there, in an asymmetrical way, he interrupted the devil and asked him how are we going to lead these soul that are contaminated with the pandemic to hell, the devil replied, this is what you will do, you will position yourself at the door of the heart of every man and woman that has COVID-19, since they are about to die, stand at the door of their heart and speak in the ears of their soul word of lies and hardness, in order to distract them so that they would not listen to the voice of the just man that would be telling them to repent and regret their sins, for the just man has allowed this pandemic in order to cause humanity to repent, so that he will take their souls to the celestial kingdom my former habitation, thus you will maximize your approach and tactic, don't miss these souls, capitalize on all the opportunity and capture these souls, make sure you don't miss them, while the enemy was addressing his audience. I saw millions of resplendent angels of God suspended between heaven and earth, they were shining and scintillating like crystal, the Lord angels exuded and emitted a beautiful bluish color, it was breathtaking and magnificent, there is no word to describe the beauty and splendor of these being of light, while they waited suspended between heaven and earth, 
I saw another category of bright angels. They wore white garment that shone like gold, they encamped around God children on the land. I saw that people that were contaminated by the pandemic were attended not only by these angel, whose garment shone like gold, but they were also archangel of the Lord that were encamping around them, the archangel were battling to win the souls of these contaminated people for they were in the end of their lives, angels and demons are battling for souls of men and women that have been infected by the pandemic, people that were infected and accepted the word of God that the angel and archangel were whispering in their ears were saved, and when they died Jesus Christ himself was there to welcome them beyond the grave, the Lord was hugging them and comforting them, and then he handed them to the cloud of angels that that were suspended between heaven and earth, these angels that shone like gold transported these souls to the celestial world, but souls that refused to hear word of God, and preferred to hear whispering of demons were received by demons when they die, they were transported to hell, as the pandemic is hitting global population, there is intense spiritual battle and a war for souls of people infected, that are dying, the Lord has deployed even his archangels around contaminated patient, the chief angels are whispering in the ears of these patients urging them to repent and confess their sins, so that the Lord will lead them to the heavenly mansions of the celestial kingdom, eternal life is granted freely by the Lord to people dying because of the pandemic if only they will repent, 